Okay, a little update here for you. I'm just uh, got working on this part of the bed. I've been digging out, putting in the sidewalk blocks. And they're just set in right now that it's, they're not square or anything. And uh, then this bed will be leveled off. As you can see, I'll try to show you here. It's quite a bit lower on this side than it is up there. So I'll level it off, have a bed here and uh, my path will continue down. I'll have the dirt piled in to hold the logs in place. And we're getting somewhere. It's a lot of work, but it's rewarding. I had one thing that made me really happy. I uh, found some, had to dig out some clay, so I was able to save a couple pails of clay. And uh, it's, fairly, it's a fairly sandy clay, but uh, I think it'll I'm hoping it'll be the right kind of stuff I can use for a cob oven at some point. I would love to do that. So we'll see. Hopefully we can use this. Definitely spring here. Apple blossoms are uh, starting to bud a little bit. We'll have some leaves there soon. Had a severe windstorm, so there's been garbage blowing all over, and I haven't had time to clean it all up yet. The chives are doing well, and the onions. Which I'm thankful for because with some of the bad weather we've had, I didn't know if they would survive. As you can see, the rhubarb is uh, quite prolific right now. And I've got the second plant starting. This is a smaller plant. I'd actually split it off and given half of it away, and it's just getting larger now. Okay, I was up at the shop today and uh, cleaned out, washed out two barrels. We have a pressure washer there with heat and it's 2700 PSI so you can actually get the get all the garbage out and be guaranteed your barrel is going to be clean. So uh, they will go underneath this rack and of course the sprayer tank on top and I'll be able to store a lot. Well I've gotten more done on my little water tower. Um, as you can see I've got it kind of up in place. It's not finished by any means. I still got a lot more work to do. But uh, that'll hold, oh, what is it, 300 gallons? Uh, 300 or 275. So that's not bad at all. That'll should give me a lot of water. I'll have room with the four barrels underneath it. It's got to start anyway, so I'll have to finish, but Okay, here's a garden update for you. I've uh, transplanted some plants. All the plants that were in my little box, the, my sprouts, those are the onions, and uh, the roots have grown out of the bottom of the egg carton about an inch already, and uh, so hopefully they should last and grow really well. Um, I used some topsoil and compost in this mix. I'm going to try that so it's not as strong of a compost mix and hopefully I don't kill any plants this way. Um, as you can see the uh, beans are really doing quite well and down there is my little carragana and my mystery plant. I have several little mystery plants coming up in several of these pots so I'm not sure whether they're weeds or not. We'll just find out. Uh, the lettuce down there, the nick plant is doing quite well. These things have been quite the hogs for water lately. I remembered what I planted here. Of course, it's chives. Some of them don't look so great. But some of them look like they're doing well. These are from my seeds last year. And so I was glad to see they survived the winter well. Some of the others I'm not for sure what all got planted there. But we'll find out. Here's an example. This is all my uh, butter crunch lettuce that I did in the little uh, plastic cups. The problem I ran into was that sev I had one that it stuck to the bottom of the cup and actually it's this one here and so they broke up pardon me they broke apart so I actually had to uh, plant the individual sprouts separated from the dirt and I don't like doing that I hope I didn't kill them but we'll see uh, I still have my two sweet basil that are coming nicely I have one really weird looking parsley that survived and We'll see if it does anything. I've got some uh, carrots. I've got a couple. Of, that is a uh, 
dill. I believe it's dying. Um, I'm going to have to plant more dill. Some carrots. And they'll be going into bigger pots here shortly. I don't know if I showed you my cactus before. Um, I've had him for a couple of years. Now, I've had people tell me you want to make sure you never overwater a cactus. So, every month or two we get some water. I don't know if I'm doing too much or too little. I've never raised a cactus, but so far it's staying Okay, away. so uh, now that my tray here is empty, I'm going to be planting more seedlings. Now, I had several where my seeds never came up. Uh, they were several of the seeds that I tried of my own. And um, the only the only problem with that sometimes is you're not guaranteed 100% by it also. Some of them grew, some of them didn't. Um, my uh, The peony seeds I tried, I haven't had any luck with. Uh, the chives I've had luck with. The carrigannas I've had luck with. Um, and my onions. But there's the peonies are no show. But anyways, I'm going to start more seeds. Um, I've got I've got the garden seeds I gotta to start too, but the other day at the store they got the shipment in and so I went in and pretty much bought them out of herbs. Um, they did they only get a small amount. So I got lavender, Florence fennel, lemon basil, Swiss chard, oregano, um, Cherville, which I've never heard of. They say you can plant it indoors too. You want several plants. Um, and they say you can continue to pick the um, pick them as and you just keep planting them monthly, uh, replanting seeds. So and it says they will go to seed themselves, so and it says to remove them and not let it get too thick. But I'll probably just transplant them. Um, I've got rosemary and thyme. So I want to get I want to expand my herb garden and have uh, enough that maybe I can start selling some herbs as well. So that's the plan for tonight and uh, I have my egg curtain here as well I'm going to use and uh, my toilet paper rolls again. Both have worked really well for me, better than the plastic trays and uh, I guess they work but I prefer this. So we're going to stick with this and uh, I'm just about out here but I've been using just uh, topsoil compost mix um, trying to pick up the grass roots and things like that and I have a bucket full of just compost there as well. So and this is the compost from my compost house. As you can see it looks a lot like black dirt. There is some chunks that are still breaking down but it's been excellent compost for me. I've been really happy. Um, the results are good. It's just the only fault has been my own by using too much compost on my seedlings. So I'm having to mix with topsoil. 